Okay, yo guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be giving my honest review on Wave. So, I guess let's jump straight into it. First part, Injection. Injection is not that bad. Um, the inject time for me is a, somewhere around five, three to five seconds. And it doesn't tend to crash on injection, which is my next point. Stability. Waves stability is pretty decent. Um, I've only had it crash like two or three times on injection. And those weren't back to back. Those were pretty isolated cases. Crashes are pretty few and far between. Um, it, I haven't noticed it crashing on teleport, like teleporting to different games. So that's a good sign. Um, yeah, overall injection's pretty good. Um, it could be better, like inject time could be improved, all that stuff. And also it could be improved on the times it does crash to make it more stable, and a better scripting experience. Execution. The execution's alright. Um, it can execute pretty much any script. It can run Vape. That I mean, I'm using Wave right now for the background gameplay. As you can see, running Vape. So yeah, it can execute pretty much any script. It can run Remote Spy. And it can run vape. It has similar performance to like Fluxus UWP or like old UWP cheats before Bifron was announced on UWP or introduced on UWP. My bad. Um, performance. The performance with Wave is um a bit of a doozy, if you will. Um. The performance is very hit or miss, I've seen, um, like, with the drawing library, for example, they don't hook D3D, or DirectX 3D, for the drawing API. No, they use Roblox Buildboard GUIs, which is less performant than the method Solara uses for their drawing library, which is frames and image labels so what this means is if you're running a lot of esp like there's a lot of players in your game for example and you're using drawing esp you will see a noticeable performance hit like for me i have a decent machine so it's not my computer but when i turn on like drawings right like a esp library um, I can notice a severe drop in performance. Like, normally I get around 240 FPS, like, sh right on the default Roblox limit that it sets for my computer. But with, um, Waves Drawing Library and ESP enabled, um, I get closer to 100. If there's a lot of players in the game, it's more like 70 to 80. So, yeah. The performance is very iffy, but if you're not using the drawing library, performance is pretty decent. There is like a 20 to 10 FPS or 10 to 20 FPS drop I've noticed when running scripts, uh, but it's very non-noticeable. Next is functions. Oh boy, this is this is great. Okay, so functions. Um, let's, I'm just gonna fire them off one by one. Um, our console returns zeros. The debug library, pretty much all return zeros. Some of them just flat out don't work. Like, get proto and get protos don't work. 
they work just enough to show up under the UNC test, but other than that, they don't work. They don't have any functionality. Uh, and the functions are just, like, oddballs. Like, they either are return zeros or don't work how they're intended to work. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Um, overall, my opinions on Wave, it's promising. If they fix the returning zeros on a lot of the debug library and make a D3D hook, since they have access, they probably do have access to that. They can make it hook D3D, so there's no performance loss while running ESP. Um, should you download Wave and go through the seven step key system or Wave Lite? Um, yes, I feel like, um, and again, it's all your own opinions. You can do whatever you want, but I do recommend it. It looks promising. Um, I don't recommend buying it, though. Uh, that's probably not the best idea to buy it, but, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and this has been my, my review on Wave, and goodbye.